YouTube, this is your boy Rob the Video Game Holder here, and you are there. And this episode is going to be flea market picks, pickups and a little bit of thrifting. And my lighting is terrible in this room, but I don't really care. I'm just running with it anyway. Ah, um, this was the last week of the flea market. Uh, I think this was uh, like two weeks ago. Sorry, I couldn't put up a video, it's been crazy with uh, work and everything else. Uh, yeah, mailman uh, life is not cool uh, towards the end of the year, especially with Amazon going freaking berserk now. Um, but these are uh, some pickups from like two weeks ago, and um, yeah, so let me go with that. Um, I will give you a bunch of different things. Um, this was from... I'll go with the thrift store first. No, yeah, I'll go with the thrift store first. Um, a couple quick pickups. Yeah, I think that's it from the thrift store. Um, got this. Uh, you know, if you know me, you know my fascination with sealed games. Um, here's one of them. Uh, Sonic Mega Collection. It is freaking sealed. So. Um, this was, uh, oh, $3.99, so I paid, I paid $3.99, that was a full price one, I know that. Um, I got these on half off day, on a Sunday, um, Resident Evil 4 on the Wii, uh, they had it for $4.99, I got that one for half off, so $2.50. I got this, I don't even know why I bought this for, for this, but I figured 5 bucks isn't that big of a deal. Especially since it's sealed. Uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. They had it for 10. That was half off as well. So 5. And I bought these just because they were 50 cents. I have no idea why. I'm never going to play them. Fantastic Four. They're probably awful. And Shrek something or another. I don't really care. Again, they were 99 cents half off. 50 cents. So. Um. Did I buy anything else? Oh, I also bought, um, I don't have them anymore because I sold them, but, uh, there was a, a Game Boy Advance like this, and, um, another SP like this. I think I got them for about 10 bucks each from there. I uh, sold them to a buddy of mine for, I don't remember, because I sold them a bunch of stuff, so. Um, these were from, uh, a pickup. I had a, a Pokemon one, too. Um, fuck, I can't even remember where uh, I put it, but, uh, this was, uh, five bucks each, I think, so Mario, uh, and Sonic Winter Olympics, uh, this is, a, I think, like a $15 game or something like that, so was this, for whatever reason, um, NBA 2K13, and I had a Pokemon, um, Poke Park Part 2. So that was five bucks as well. I don't. I think I, maybe I sold it. I probably did sell it then. Um, yeah, I think I did sell it for like around twenty bucks or something like that. So it's gone down. It used to be like a forty dollar game, but uh, it's definitely not that anymore. Um, quick pickup from the thrift. I mean, not thrift. Um, from the flea market. I think most of these other things are from the flea market. This one guy I see every once in a while. He has CDs, DVDs, and random, random stuff. Um, I think he picked these all up from Walmart clearance and thought he was going to do really well and never did. So he was really trying to get rid of everything. He was like 50 cents for everything uh, for each. So um, I would have picked up more because they are sealed, but I mean, they're, they're really crap. I think they're only a couple bucks each, but you can see the, the Walmart clearance sticker on them. So... Uh, Ski and Shoot for the PS2. I think it's funny how Walmart still has PS2 games, but 
uh, Bodie Miller Alpine Skiing, and uh, Alfa Romeo Racing Italiano. So uh, they're all sealed again, but uh, again, I got them for 50 cents each. Um, I got a DVD for, oh yeah, because I, I wanted to find something to make it even two bucks. So I got this. I don't know what the hell it is, The Legend of Dog Warriors. Um, I figured it's some type of anime. Yeah, it looks like it has five episodes, so I figure hopefully I can make at least a couple bucks on this and then the other games a couple bucks because they're sealed. Um, this was... Oh, sorry, this is from the, from the thrift as well. Uh, Transformers, the game. I got it for half price, so a dollar fifty. I figured that was a pretty cool price for a, a PSP game. Um, this was from a guy, and I don't know where the other one is, but I got another DVD from him. They were a dollar each. Brave Star. Um, I might have, actually. I think I showed this in the last thing. So, uh, but I got it for a dollar anyway. So, I think I did show it in the last pickup video. I don't even remember anymore. Um, these were sealed, so I picked them up, and I just dropped one. Um, three bucks a piece. He was pulling out like random sports titles for a PS2 and Xbox. I passed on those; they weren't sealed. These were. I asked him if he had any more. He didn't. So, uh, video game uh, Olympics for the Atari. Um, again, sealed. So. Uh, the boxes are a little crushed, but again, he had he had two copies of it. I don't know why. So, um, so I picked them both up for three bucks a pop. Uh, this was from one guy that um, I know from thrifting and from other stuff, and he always gives me deals because uh, he likes me and. Uh, he even wanted to sell me some other stuff, and he was like, going to give me ridiculous prices, but it was at the end of the month, so, um, that's when all my big bills are, like, you know, my car payments, uh, uh, cell phone, uh, rent, everything else, or mortgage, whatever, so, it's kind of tough to go spurging then, but, um, he had other stuff, I, I wish I could have bought more stuff from him, but, uh, he gave me these all for, uh, 40 bucks, all together. So it's a green Game Boy Color. Uh, it's missing the, the back plate, but you can get those for pretty cheap. Um, a Game Boy Advance SP scratched up, but works. And with the Cartoon Network Block Party. Um, to oh zero zero one, unfortunately. But a uh, Game Boy Advance, that's also missing the battery pack. But... Again, I could find that, and um, the best part of the deal was uh, a Zelda DS Lite. Um, I've had one of these before. I think I might have sold it, so it's really cool to get another one. This one's actually in really nice shape. It has like maybe one or two little scratches, but nothing, nothing major. So uh, that was cool. Uh, so that's forty bucks. He originally wanted like sixty-five, seventy. I was like, the most I'm gonna pay is like forty, and he's like, done. I'm like, okay. And he was even offering this stuff for more to other people. <laughs> He's like, oh, don't worry, I'll hook you up. I'm like, all right, man. Whatever. Um, this is a random pickup. This is actually probably going to make me a good amount of money. But um, this guy always has, like, CDs and records. And once in a while has an occasional random uh, video game uh, pile. But uh, he had one this time. I looked through it, and I didn't find anything. He doesn't even know video games really. He's like, oh, just let me know, you know, give me a price and I'll probably go with it or whatever. He's like, I see you all the time with the flea market and uh, I know you're into video games or whatever. I don't really know the video games, so when I pick them up, I get rid of them, whatever. Uh, and then we talked about records and some other stuff. And he was a funny guy, old guy. Um, this game is sealed. Now, I normally I'd keep it, but it's got a couple little nicks on it and I hate that. That drives me nuts with sealed games. Um, you can see kind of a little rip right there. But uh, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition. Now there's a Midnight Club 3, then there's Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, then there's Midnight Club 3 
like super dub edition or something. So there's like three different versions. This one apparently goes for about, I think, 50 to 70 bucks online. So I paid 10. So I was thinking about keeping it. But again, that I don't know, that little rip might make me not keep it. But I, I should make a good amount of money on this one. So, um, one guy had this Super Nintendo, uh, nin uh this guy, um, <laughs> this is funny because this guy actually, uh, didn't want to sell me stuff for a while, and now all of a sudden it's, like, all nicey-nicey with me. Um, another person I know <laughs> sold him, like, a bootleg, um, god, what was it? One of those uh, NES games, um, really expensive, oh uh, god, but it was like a repro cart, and he didn't know at first, and I walked over with him to see what he was getting in trade, so he put it on me too, saying that it was my fault as well, so he didn't want me anywhere near his thing, and then he, I'm also, I also walk around sometimes at the flea market with another guy, and he really hates that guy, that guy cursed him out and whatever, so he really didn't like me for a while either, but now suddenly he wants to sell me stuff. So, whatever. Um, I bought some Nintendo Powers from him. I bought some other uh, games from him. Uh, kind of a weird guy. He's like a lawyer, but he, he gets video games sometimes, too. And he actually got in trouble for selling uh, bootleg um, police stuff. I think badges. And they caught him, and they put him in jail and stuff. But it's funny. But I guess he's a lawyer. I don't know. He got himself out of it. But it's funny. Um, anyway. So we had these Super Nintendo games. I picked out the best ones. Um, he originally wanted either 50 or 60 for five, four of them. And then I threw in another one and I was like, um, would you do, f I don't know, did I say 45 maybe? I think we got to... 50. I think it was, it ended up being 50 at, at the end. So, um, some common games here. Probably make a little money off of them and keep, uh, one of them that I don't have. Um, Donkey Kong Country 2. Wario Woods. Super Mario All-Stars. They're really in really nice shape, too. I don't know. I might replace one or two of them label-wise. Super Mario Kart, uh, the Greatest Hits Edition or whatever. And this is the one I didn't have, and this is the one I really wanted out of the whole deal, but uh, Kirby's Dream Course. So, so again, I think that was 50 bucks, if I remember right. So, nothing, not a fabulous deal, but not bad. Um, the last, I guess, two deals were from a buddy... Um, my buddy Alex Jose. <laughs> um, so it, it turned into two different deals because originally he brought out some stuff and then he brought out some other stuff later, I think. So um, I was looking through stuff. I got first dibs, although I should have probably bought other stuff. He had some loose Genesis games. I'm not into Genesis, but uh, some of them were, were decent. Um, was one of them. Uh, Rhinestar, Ringstar, something star. Uh, it had a little bit of label damage though, so that's why I left it. But I think that's when, that one's kind of valuable. I know some other stuff. Um, again, I'm not that versed in the Genesis, but the way he gave me the deal, I probably should have just bought more stuff. But um, I got to remember prices again because this is a couple weeks ago. But um, think I got this for 25 20 25 I think oh God I think it was 25 so I'll go with that um, I'm missing one of them because I think it was a Pokemon snap as well but um, Pokemon Stadium Galaxy Force 2. And then a whole bunch of uh, uh, Japanese um, games that uh, I'll probably never play, but I, I think they're cool. And uh, I think most of them are RPGs, if I'm right. So Dragon Quest VIII. Um, Biohazard 4, which is Resident Evil in Japan. Uh, Resident Evil 4. 
I like how on the bottom it says PlayStation 2, the best. So uh, I know Tight White has uh, different issues with different systems, but uh, obviously right there it says PS2 is the best. So there you go. Um, I guess I think it's their like uh, greatest hits edition or whatever, but I don't really know what the hell this is. It looks like an anime on the back. Um, but it's in a PS2 case. I really, it's really weird. The case is a little fucked up, but I can replace that. Um, Scandal? But then it's got like different anime like cutscenes and other stuff. I don't see any actual action or I don't know, so I don't really know what the hell's going on. But um, for Japan only. Uh, this is, um, is it that Poyo Poyo game or one, one of those weird, um, kind of like Dr. Mario or, uh, Bust a Move type games? Um, I, I think it's Poyo something. I can't remember the name of it. But, uh, so you got that. I got, uh, I don't recognize this one. Next Generation of Chaos. So that looks like a... Looks like a strategy RPG, sort of. From the back. Sorry with the glare, of course. You can't really see that well. Uh, this is uh, one of those beat games. Beat Mania 5th Style. New Songs Collection by Konami. It's got a whole bunch of uh, different things. I guess you can use a keyboard and some other stuff. Um, I don't really know what the hell this is either. Uh, some Japanese game with a dog and some, I don't know what's going on in this game. I really have no idea. But I, I figured I'm picking up all the Japanese games. Might as well pick that up too. So this is part of the PS2 best collection. Uh, I know this, uh, art, our, uh, Tenelico uh, series. So uh, that was another cool one to get, and it's got the yellow label, which is the best label. So all those were 25, and then I saw this game I kind of wanted um, Super Mario 64, uh, which he originally had for in his store for 20 bucks. But uh, I was like, oh, damn, after I paid him 25 already, and he just threw this one in for free. So that's really cool of him. He just had a wedding, actually, too, so congrats to them. But, um, and then I came back later, and he had a bunch of sealed games, and again, you know what I think about sealed games, so I think I got these for 10 bucks, if I remember right. This is probably the the best one of the deal. I the God of War uh, collection. God of War 2. It's not a collection. Yeah, it's just God of War 2. Sorry. Uh, that's sealed. Um, rock Band Country Pack. I know some of these Rock Band ones with the, the different packs are worth a little bit, so I picked that up. Midnight Club. This has a cool cover. I don't remember if this game is any good or not, but Justice League Heroes. Kind of looks like uh, the Marvel um, Alliance games. Wow. So... And then the original Guitar Hero uh, Greatest Hits. So that was 10 bucks, I think, if I remember right. So uh, I think that was it. Yeah, that's it for the flea market and a couple thrifting pickups. So um, it's going to suck that uh, the flea market's done for... Uh, they have an indoor one, but it's terrible. There's like 10 or 15 vendors. You get out of there in like 5, 10 minutes. It's awful. Um... So I don't even bother. So I gotta wait till April until this one opens up again. This one used to stay open till Christmas, but uh, I don't know. They're closing earlier this year for some reason. I think they had issues with snow last year and some day, and they were liability issues and whatever. So they don't even want to bother. So they closed it like right after Thanksgiving. So kind of sucks. But um, anyway, like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. Uh, I will try to draw up another video. Uh, 
I want to do that uh, expensive uh, PS1 collection because that's actually something I have. So that would be a kind of cool video to do and show off. Um, and that's about it. So I will see you next time. Rob is out.